There is growing concern tonight about the water flowing out of the taps in Compton and Willowbrook. People who live there say the water is brown and murky and the situation is just getting worse. Kick it on's Rachel Kim is live in Compton where a town hall meeting was held tonight. So Rachel, what did the water department have to say about it? Well, Jeff, this town hall meeting was packed with residents from Compton and Willowbrook. They brought a lot of their concerns, and some even brought samples of the murky water they get at their homes. This looks like urine. You know, I mean, come on, and it's coming out of all the sinks. Ricardo Calderon shows us the discolored water he gets at his Compton home. He brought a jar full of it to this town hall meeting tonight to make a point to local and state officials. You think that we we're supposed to drink this? This is this is nonsense, and we get charged a lot of money. Compton and Willowbrook residents are expressing their concerns and anger over the murky and sometimes brown water they say they're expected to drink and use. I have two kids, a six-year-old and a three-year-old. They're scared to shower. They're scared to wa wash their hands, to brush their teeth because they see the water and it's brown. The Sativa County Water District serves these areas and says the color is a result of a process called flushing. Four times a year, the district flushes their system to remove the buildup of minerals and sediment from inside the pipes. And sometimes the sediments end up in the water people get at their homes. This problem can only be solved through infrastructure upgrade. Our pipes are 70, 80 years old. We're doing the best that we can. A representative from the LA County Department of Health told the crowd they tested the water and found no bacteria in the samples. They've determined there is no health or safety threat. We have a bottled water program for our residents in the interim while they flush out the system. But these residents say they deserve clear water now. We asked them too, if would you drink the water? And they all said no. So why are they saying it's safe and they want us to drink it? It's not fair. The Water District says in order to make those improvements to their infrastructure, they need more funding from local and state governments. The County Health Department says they'll continue working with the district to make sure the water remains safe.